In this video, we're going to use something called selection to get our microbit to show a random image when we press the A button. So what we need to do first is get our microbit program to generate a random number. So what I do, I need somewhere to save that random number once it's been made. So I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to click make a variable and I'm going to call it random number. No spaces and a capital letter for the N in number so you can see quite easily it's a new word. Click OK and you'll see I've got this variable random number. I can now drop this down here and set item to and choose the random number variable I just made. So set random number 2. Now at the moment it's going to set it, if it runs this block, to 0. So what I'm going to do think we're in math. Here we go. And it's this pick random 0 to 4. I'm going to drop that on there. Now I'm only going to have three images to pick from and we start counting at 0. So that's 0, 1, 2. That gives me three options. 0, 1 or 2. So I'm going to pick a random between 0 and 2. Next I'm going to use logic and this is where my selection comes in. So I'm going to choose an if here and I'm going to join it on. I'm going to get rid of this little true bit, in fact I'm going to replace the little true bit with some logic and I'm going to use an equals here. So if something equals something else. Now I want to check random number here, this variable, to see if they pick, it picked 0. Remember it could only pick 0, 1 or 2. So I'll go to my variables, get my random number tag and drop it in that first bit. If random number equals 0, and then I'm going to get it to show a picture. So again, back to basic, show icon. I don't know, let's have the giraffe. Then I'm going to click this little blue cog and choose else if and I'm going to drag that in like that. Else if, go back to my math, my logic rather, get another equals, go back to my variables, get another random number. So if it hasn't picked zero it will move on and check to see if random number is equal to one. And then I might put another show icon with a different picture in there. Finally, I'll click my blue cog and I'll choose else, because if it's, if it's not picked 0 or 1, then it must have picked 2. So if you notice, I don't have to do a condition here, I don't have to do this check, because if it's not picked 0, it's not picked 1. It could only pick 0, 1 or 2. It's not picked 0, it's not picked 1, so it must have picked 2. So in this part, I will this space here, I'll put my commands to happen. What Well, basically, what I want to happen if the random number pick was 2. Then I've got to surround this all with a piece of a block of code for when to run. So I'll go to basic, in fact I'll go to input, and I'll go to on button A press, like that, and I'll surround all that code. Um, at the moment nothing's going to happen if it picks 1, nothing's going to happen if it picks 2, so let's see. Must have picked a different one, must have picked, must have picked 1 or 2, there you go, it must have picked zero that time because it showed my giraffe. Your job is to fill in the then here and the else with two other images. And then I want you to try and adapt it. Try a different input. Maybe it works when it's shaken. Maybe it works when you press both buttons. Try having different messages appear instead of pictures when it picks a different random number. You could even get it doing something like the sorting hat in Harry Potter where it tells you what house you're in at random when you press a button or when you shake it. So now you've learnt a bit about the micro bit, the rest is up to you to adapt and remix and try and create your own micro bit programs. Good luck!